Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. And in today's guide, we're going to be looking at a brand new method for time skipping in Pokemon Sword and Shield. As you are well aware, probably you can do this through Max Raid Dens using a wishing piece, invite others, and then what you do is come out, change the day forward, go back in, quit out, and then go back in and the day changes, the game's fooled into thinking it. Well, it's a kind of a long drawn out method, but there is a new method that has been discovered I don't know who to credit for this, but whoever it was, kudos for that. Um, but anyway, it's a lot quicker. There's just a little bit of time investment to setting it up, but once you've got it set up, it makes things so easy to farm. And all your daily events that do pop up, you can just cycle through them by literally clicking your home screen, changing the date and coming back in. It's so quick to do. So I'm going to just use an example here to start off with, with the Roto Lotto. So you can see we're going into it. We're going to get our ticket. We know it's like a daily event, so I shouldn't be able to go back into it. But I'm going to use this guide to show us how we can we can get another one. We can go back into it and cycle through. So you could literally sit here and just cycle through the Roto Lotto as well. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this guide as well is because I've been playing around with this glitch quite a bit. And I think I've figured out a way to knock it off and then a way to... For us to easily get it back on again okay so we'll touch on that later in the guide so do stay tuned for that so what you want to do this method you want to go over to your victory station um, and then you want to click into battle stadium as well now i have tested out like a bunch of other methods to try in this like just connecting to the internet that doesn't work like that will not work you cannot just connect to the internet i've tried as well just connecting to victory station like now connected to the internet I've tried coming out and then trying the glitch it doesn't work I've tried it with casual battles it doesn't work so you need to do it in rental battles that is the only place I've been able to get this to work so you can see I've tried it a bunch of times already we're just gonna click in what you want to do is it doesn't even matter about the battle because we're not even gonna be playing a match we're literally just gonna be selecting our team uh, excuse the team I'm trying to complete my pokedex right now so if the team looks wacky it's not really a team it's just Pokemon I'm trying to evolve and some that I already have evolved. So anyway, we're in this screen. An opponent has been found. That's really good. Super quick. Uh, Diane rank one. Brilliant. At uh, singles ratings, taking a tank in from doing this. I guess it's a kind of handicap. I haven't started playing singles yet. So when I do get around to it, we're going to be well in the red before we get into the green. So we've got a little bit of work to do once we start playing that ladder. And we'll get into the battle. And just so you guys know as well, if you are hitting the master rank in the singles and doubles, so for both of them, if you hit the master rank by the end of December, I believe, you do get 600 battle points as a bonus for hitting that master rank. So it's well worth doing if you can get up to that master rank as a reward. 600 battle points for each one in doubles and singles. That's 1,200 battle points. That will last you a long time. So we're into the match, Diane, good game. Uh, we just want to run. This is like all we want to do. We don't even want to continue, just run. Battle was canceled. We'll come out of this screen. We do lose, unfortunately, but it's fine. It's worth it, it's worth it, honestly, because what we can do now saves us so much time. Right, communicating, we don't want to check. I mean, you can check, but you don't, want, you don't necessarily need to do anything. You just need to mash the B button, come out of this screen, now we're back here, we know the lotto. So all we want to do now is hit at home, then you go down to system settings, come down to system, date and time. Want to knock off synchronize by the internet if you've got it on. Skip the day forward one day, come back out into your game. And you see that little glitch, like the, the screen flickers. And I that is the indicator for me that the, the glitch has worked. The day has passed and we'll, we'll be able to prove this by going into the lotto connect yeah we'll do a draw and there you go see so the glitch actually works it's so quick it, it makes such a difference now i think it takes the max raid den glitch completely like that time skip is just irrelevant now this is just the way to do it because it's so much quicker i think there are still a lot of kinks to actually getting this to work properly so i wouldn't say it's like a really sure method at the minute because i've, I've figured out one way to kind of kick yourself out of it but then get yourself back into it but I'm, there's some weird things that have happened where I've kind of skipped a day but went back into a Pokemon battle from before I did the glitch. It's kind of weird stuff. So just to show you again, we've done that. It's literally this simple. System settings, home screen, system, date and time, down to date, skip it forward, one day, okay. 
and then go back into the game and then we'll go back into the the try lot id and you can you see we can do it once again this is mad you can sit here and just cycle this farm this as much as you want till you get a master ball it's as easy as that that's all you need to do you don't need to do anything else you don't need to visit a den to reset it or anything like that this is literally all you need to do sit here and mash your home screen come back and forth and see if you get oh we got a third tier prize nice ball of pp up that's decent isn't it that's not bad okay so yeah uh what we'll do now is we'll just hop over to a den and show you how the mechanics work in a den yeah i don't need to fly there we'll not be lazy we'll just hop on our bike we are at hammerlock after all so we're quite close to some dens there should be a den active that i i have been testing on with a wishing piece and on the way down to that den we'll be able to go to a berry tree and just show you an example there how the berry trees interact with this now the one thing i have noticed is if you are just if you're not if you haven't dropped a wishing piece down a den and you are just standing in front of it changing the date it will disappear but if you drop a wishing piece down the den and then start changing the date in front of it it will not disappear it'll just cycle through the pokemon so that's the way to do it it will cost you a wishing piece to do it so here we go berry tree shake it yes just doing the run of the mill things okay we're not gonna go through this anymore we'll just quit out of this we'll grab our one berry well worth it kelpsy berry so yeah we've got that we know there's no berries on it now we'll just go back down to system settings and we can go to system date and time and then go forward one day and come back into it stop playing again you see the glitch you see the, the screen glitch that's what you want to be looking out for Berry tree, we can shake it again and it's got berries. This changes everything with how we can farm berries, how we can farm the lotto, how you can farm d dens, everything, any daily event, it's crazy. I just did a berry guide and I was using the max raid glitch to do it, but this completely changes it. This quickens it up so much more. You can literally stand in front of a tree and just keep going and going and going and going until you've got as many berries as you want. And um, so we'll not carry on any further. We've seen that glitch. And then the final example is we'll just hop over to this red den. Like I say, this is the one that I have dropped a wishing piece down. And there is a bravery kicking around. It's going to attack us for sure. Where are you? Oh, it's gone. Okay, that's good. Oh, no, it's back. Okay, we'll go around this side. Hopefully that, that deters it. The reason why I was wanting around the other side is I wanted to, to kind of point out the other red dens to show you when I change the date that they'll probably disappear. So we've got three at the minute, okay? Uh, we're just going to click into our den and you can see Maracas here so I'm not going to invite others we're still connected to the internet by the way we'll do this when we're not connected to the internet so I'm just going to go back down into system settings I'm going to go to system date and time and I'm going to just change the date forward one day come back out into the game again and we'll click into the the den we get that 2000 watts so for watt farming this is crazy trevenant okay so it does work so it cycles through the den and we'll just take a quick look around there's not those three dens are not there so this is what i mean if you haven't dropped a wishing piece down a den that you're like cycling through it will disappear so you to really guarantee that your your den stays active i think for this glitch at least when you're sitting in front of it doing this method you're going to need you're going to need to have to drop the wishing piece down there to make sure that the den doesn't disappear which it hasn't done so far you can see the weather changed and we can go back into it we get the 2000 watts it's a much easier way to farm watts as well and then we've got a go guys so it's a really easy way to do it now we will test this offline so i'm just gonna disconnect from the internet yeah we'll disconnect and we'll just check if this works it should still work when we're disconnected from the internet okay so i'll just come off Right, and then we'll come back down to system settings, go down to system, date and time, and click OK, and then come back into the game. Hopefully we see the glitch screen. It does, yeah. So it works offline, so that's ideal, okay? So you can do this offline, which is amazing, okay? So this makes everything so much easier. We'll quick out of it. Now the one thing that I've discovered that knocks this glitch off is if you do this, if you do the old method. So do not click invite others do not do this because you do this and it'll, you go down system settings do not do this old method because it will appear as though it works okay but it does not okay so we'll quit out yeah 
quit out like we used to do. And the weather does change, okay, so it's really deceiving. We click into the den, yeah, dens work. Okay, so it's changed, yeah. Okay, everything's hunky dory. Now, I'm just gonna show you this. I'm not gonna click through, invite others again. I'm just gonna show you changing the date again. And this time, keep an eye out for the screen glitch. And it doesn't glitch. So that's kicked you out and you can go back in. So do not, whatever you do, when you're doing this method, especially with the raid dens, do not go in, invite others. If you're online, if you're offline, it will not work. It'll kick you off, it'll change the method. So what we need to do now is then, we don't need to change anything internally. You don't need to reset the dates or anything. All you need to do is go back into your menu, go to your versus recorder, go into a ranked battle. Remember, it has to be a ranked battle. Come out of it, quit out, and then the, the, the glitch will be active again. So you'll be able to do all these things and manipulate, farm, and get all the items that you want. So um, I hope you found this guide useful. If you have, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of Pokemon content, a lot of Pokemon guides, and we'll be doing competitive Pokemon very soon as well. Leave a comment down below if you've had success with this glitch. And like I've said earlier on, I think there's a lot to discover about how this glitch actually works. So it'll be interesting to see how things go and kind of progress as we go through the next few weeks. If there is any updates, I will make sure to do an update video on them. So do stay tuned. Another reason to subscribe. Not begging. Uh, of course, it does sound like that. So um, just to let you know, I will be doing update videos anyway. But um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you found it useful. Have a great time farming with this new glitch and time saving method and I will um, I'll catch up with you all very soon.